We're always on the edge We fight and make love at the same time Would you break up just because I told you What I did last night I recall the times you said you're sorry But still I'm not sure if you told lies So we've got an MSI B360 in here at the moment and we're going to talk about the RGBs at the moment, see if there's anything different. I've just done a uh, stability test and that will be in the link in the description down below if you want to check that out with uh, the CPU 8350K CPU. And obviously it's not overclockable but it is a, a K SKU and uh, it works in here no problem. Using 2400 MHz RAM but I'm only using 8 gigabytes. I nicked the other 8 gigabytes of my girlfriend so I've only got 8 gigabytes in there and this was a gaming computer using a fractal design. Uh, uh, what is it? Fractal's Divine, no, Design R6 White Edition Glass TG case. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool in there. And using the uh, MSI 1050 or GTX 1050 Ti. And I've just been testing it out. So I'm going to show you like the BIOS in a minute. Um, so if I go to ADA 64. I've been running it off this motherboard and it hasn't got loads of phases or chokes and stuff like that. It's one CVR, it hasn't, it's only got one big heat sink if I remember, has it got? Oh no, it's got two heat sinks in it, sorry, I got it wrong. It's got two heat sinks, one at the top, one at the side. It's, it's the board's about £112, so it's not too bad. But yeah, with this CPU, uh, the motherboard's running at 37 degrees and the lowest core count is 38 and the highest core count is 55. Um, so I'm going to stop this right now, I've been running it for 25 minutes uh, and it looks pretty stable, actually saying that I've already stopped it, that's it cooling down and um, yes, the, mo uh, the case itself, the fan curves haven't changed or anything like that, I've just put it all together and let it run, so that's what I've done there, so I'm going to just cancel that off. Um, Tested uh, gaming, that would be the link in the description down below, it was only Tekken 7. Uh, it was pretty stable and everything like that and had no problems. I'm using the Zowie BenQ monitor and it's a gaming monitor for PlayStation 4 and you can connect PC to it and all that sort of stuff. And it's been awesome at 60 hertz and it's pretty clean and clear. I like it. Um, what else do I want to say about it? The motherboard, RGB. So they, you've got a new MSI app manager. So you click into that and it comes up like this and then it will have like a red bar at the bottom to install it and give you a total, uh, there you go, total install or you can do an update on it. Now I've got this all installed and then I've got my live update six. So it's exactly the same as what it was before and all the other MSI motherboards. You've got like a little menu and then you can click what you want. So you've got the option to have you know, your main drivers uh, for like graphics card and buses for your USBs and stuff like that. Then you've also got um, your uh, utilities like uh, Google uh, tools, um, toolbar I should say, the Norton Internet security and stuff like that. And then you've got your other like bits of software. So this is what I've got at the moment. Um, I'm not using RAM disk, but you've got smart tool, supercharger, connect your phone, whatever phone you've got, and it will supercharge it and trickle the power, won't blow it up, it will be perfect. Then you've got X Boost, and then you've got Live, Update 6, and then Gaming Land Manager, which is where you're playing all the games that need loads of internet, especially you're playing it online, like CSGO, Fortnite, uh, Call of Duty, um, any games like that, and you want, um, look, Tekken, Street Fighter, anything like that and you don't want it to drop down in uh, latency, that's what that's for. But technically I don't really use it because I don't really have any drop downs, it's pretty alright. Especially through Wi-Fi and uh, connecting it via internet port, so it's really quite cool. You've got fast boot, when you turn off the computer it kind of turns off and it remembers everything. If you've got your Google pages up and stuff like that or Internet Explorer or Firefox, whatever you want to call it, it will remember it and it will come up there. And your DPC latency tune, you can tune it and make it more... Um, Subject, that's not even a word, subjectical. No, I don't even know what that even means. But anyway, it means that um, basically you can tune it and it will be fine tuned by your own preferences. That's what I should say. You got command center as well. Same thing as like what it is on most MSI things, but we're talking about Mystic Light, see if there's anything different about it. So I'm clicking on it. It takes like a while to come up. Uh, there it is, and then minimize that. 
Uh, so at the moment I've just got red RGBs on it, so I'm going to turn the case to the right. I'm going to actually take the side off so you can see the RGBs. And basically you change, you choose the colour you want, so I've gone with that one. Hit apply, or add actually, then apply. There we go, motherboard, then apply. And there you have it, the lights are there. And I'm going to click that one and go with a slightly pinkish colour. Go to add and apply and then you've got a mixture of both that's just pretty cool how you do you actually think that's pretty cool but then you can go into um different things like breathing and you can make the make it breathe so hit apply and it's breathing at a really fast speed and you should be able to slow this down hmm. if i remember right you could definitely uh, slow this down Anyway, so we go to flashing, okay, we're flashing like so, uh, marquee, getting all mad like that, that's pretty cool, stack. And if you've got your graphics card as well, it will be really quite cool. But yeah, you can also have no animation at all, or you can just have it off and it's completely gone. So if you have no animation, it's normally just on, which is quite cool as well, but if you're not RGB liking, then off it goes. So you can do all of that. In this software, you can add in like your graphics card memory and everything, or other things that are connected to it, and you can have them all um, in sync together, headphones, motherboard, um, like everything, everything you can think of, keyboard, mouse, everything. So yeah, so that is it about that. And then we're gonna have a look into the BIOS and check that out. Well, as you can see on this MSI motherboard after getting the computer running and everything like that, um, I've got the side off at the moment. It's quite hot in here and uh, it's got up to 46 degrees and that was definitely after stress testing and playing games and everything like that. So it's not too bad. The motherboard's at 36 degrees and that's the main thing because it's about the motherboard and how it works with everything else. Uh, so I've got a CPU, uh, which one have I got? Uh, 8350K, CPU clocks at 4 gigahertz, and I've got 8 gigabytes of uh, memory. Uh, v cores 1.36 volts, and DDR voltage is 1.2 volts. Um, I'm sure you can't overclock on there, but it's saying it's like about XMP. I can just literally click on that, and then whatever happens, happens. Uh, so that's pretty amazing. But I'm going to go into F7, and then I'm going to have a look here like this. So you've got the settings as normal. Um, everything is as normal as it can be. Escape, advance. Everything looks normal to me, to be honest with you. All your boot, boot settings are exactly the same. Security is exactly the same. I've already gone through all of this, so I know what's exactly the same. What I notice is when you turn the computer on, it's got a different splash screen and it looks really quite cool. You, I don't know why it's got OC on there because it's not overclockable, but you can downclock um, the, the CPU. So I can put in um, three, not three, uh, is it 38? Yeah, there we go. I can put in 38. Sorry, I need to press uh, plus and minus. I don't know what I'm doing. So there we go. So if I try to go over to like four gigahertz where it's clocked to, it doesn't happen, but I can downclock all the way down to like 800 megahertz. So what if you're doing any little tests on that, you can do. Um, you can add a little, um, no actually, I, I don't know if you can. Yeah, I think you can, you can add voltage as well, if I remember rightly. I remember you can add voltage and RAM voltage as well, because it started to go red as well when I went into it. There you go, so you can do that as well. So I'm guessing you can get a little bit more for your money out of the B360, um, more than what we thought. So I'm just gonna put that back down to what it should be. Leave it at that. Um, and then we've got M Flash, so you can flash the um, motherboard and stuff like that. Uh, let's get that escape out of there. And then we've got hardware monitor as well. My favorite place. 
because this is where you can do all your fan curves and everything like that or hit it up on smart, uh, smart fan mode if you've got PWM, if you're not DC. Um, it's got all the settings down here and all the voltage and that and all the temperatures as well. So this is really awesome. Like if you've got a pump pl uh, plugged into the pump connector, you can see all of that going off at RPM speeds. Uh, system 1, System 2, System 3, System 4, System 5, there's quite a few fan headers on here. But yeah, this is all awesome, but this is going to be in another video. So stay tuned for that if you want to know more about fan curves and getting your computer like the quietest and also the most performance out of it at the same time. But also you can have it really loud and don't really care as long as you get the most performance. But anyway, if you thought this video was helpful, like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, leave your comments down below. And if you want to know any more about this motherboard, well, there's a good thing on, is I'm sure it's still on. There should be um, a link in the description down below where you can buy this motherboard cheaper than what I got it for, which is 112 pound. But I didn't buy it from, um, obviously, because MSI sent it to me for review to tell you about it and if it's good and test it. And if it breaks, then I should let you know about it. But as I've been testing it through different videos and, and it builds well and everything like that, then yeah, I definitely recommend this motherboard. I've done loads of MSI motherboards in, with the Carbon Pros and uh, this one's no different. So yeah, if you like this video, subscribe, leave your comments down below and I'll see you next one. Thanks for watching.